Hello and welcome to my channel again. So uh, for today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your PS4 on version 11 using uh, Mac OS, uh, specifically M1 chip, so Mac Silicon. It should work on M1, M2 or M3. Um, as you can see I have the jailbreak running over here so I can go to the package manager if I want to and I can install packages and so on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my uh, PlayStation and uh, this will remove the jailbreak so I can show you from step one how to do it and uh, yeah so let's get started. All right, so we're back at the um, PlayStation. So uh, as you can see, I have it now ungel broken state. And if I want to go into any of my applications, it's just not going to work. Okay, so uh, first things first. Of course, as you probably already know, you will need an Ethernet cable. Uh, this Ethernet cable, just have it hooked to your PlayStation 4 and into your... Uh, Mac device. Now once you have that set up, the second thing you want to do is go into your settings and in here you want to go to your networks. Probably you already know this but I'm just going to do it again. So you want to click on set up internet connection then use LAN cable. Make sure you're on custom and in here of course go and choose PPPoE and in here just put any random username password doesn't really matter in here automatic automatic do not use and go back and just hover above test internet connection now i'm gonna go back to the um, to my mac in here as we can see and of course i just followed this guide right here now first of all you want to go to this website the first website i'm going to just copy it and have it on my uh, text document here so i can put it in the description down below so this is the link one so this is the first link where you want to go so just copy it and go over here you want to click on nightly link so once you do that it's going to take you over to this page and you want to download the arch a arch 64 mac os so just click on this link right here and it's going to start downloading for you so let's save it in here that's the first thing we want to download and then we want to go to the second link which is going to be also in the description under link two and what you want to do is download the arm disk image so just click on the mac os arm disk it's going to ask you again where to download it. I'm just going to use the temporary folder. F first things first, let's extract this one. And there we go. So you will have, so we don't need that one anymore. All we need is the executable. Now do not do not execute it just yet. First of all, you want to create a new folder and you want to name it PPPPWN. Obviously it's already taken, so let's just drag and drop this one into the untitled folder. And then if we want to come back and rename it to PPWN, it's going to work that way. Now, once we have that set up, the second thing that the third link that we're going to go to is obviously the link for the stages one and two. So let's copy that link again and have it for you available on the description. So this one will be set as link three. So click on link three. It's going to bring it to this page click on code and download zip now obviously we are not going to need the full zip file from here we are only going to need two folders two files so let's delete this one to keep everything tidy then let's go inside here go inside ppwn and obviously because it's the version 11 we're going to copy the stage one and two of the version 11 so just copy those ones and we'll go into the original PPWN where we put this guy in here and we are going to paste the two items. There we go. Now, once we do that, obviously we wanna, I'm saying obviously a lot, uh, you wanna rename these two folders to stage one and stage two. 
Now, if you go into the USB drive, you're gonna find a gold hand.bin. This one, you will also need it. So just copy it. And in now you can plug in your USB device, make sure that it is formatted into X fat format this is very important otherwise your ps4 is not going to understand uh, it's not going to be able to access your usb so make sure it is in x fat format and once you do that you can just paste your uh gold uh, gold hand into here and as you can see i already have it here also i have a few pa packages that i'm that we're gonna walk through later on but for now just put your gold hand dot bin inside here. So once you have gold hand in here, you can safely eject your uh, USB and put it into your PS4. And once you do that, then we can successfully delete uh, the, this uh, main one. And let's make sure we are as icons, seen as icons. So now we don't need this one anymore. Um, only thing we needed from this folder was the gold hand and uh, also the stage one and two of the version 11. And once we do it with it, we have, we have all of that. We can successfully delete that folder. And so once we do that, we can then open up Wireshark and then just have Wireshark into the applications. So obviously I already have it. So I'm, I'm going to stop this one, but after moving the Wireshark into the application folder, something that's very necessary is to install the CH mode. So double click on it and click continue, install for all users, install, put in your uh, password and close. So we can move it to trash now. That's okay. Now, now we are set up. So let's open up Wireshark. And if you do that, you're going to see that your Ethernet cable over here is EN0. So we'll keep a mental note of that. Um, once we have all of this, we are actually pretty much ready to go. All we have to do now is right, go into your notes folder. There we go. And on this first uh, guide that uh, you'll have. You'll also have this. Um, I'll just copy it and put it into the description also. So it's this um, command. Now, what you can do is either type it out manually or do as I do and just paste it onto your folder. So just copy it from the description and paste it into your uh, text edit Then what you want to do is you want to go into your folder where you have your ppwn which is this one and it will have these three Now I also already have it in here So this is just a temp folder that I put to download stuff that I'm eventually gonna delete But of course you will have it on your own folder. So just go into your ppwn folder that we already set up and Click on PPWN and over here at the bottom, you can right click and choose copy PPWN as path name. Now, if you don't have like this, this bar at the bottom where you can just click and copy as path name, you can also right click and then click and hold the options button and copy as path name over here. So once you do that, you can just erase all of this and uh, you can safely paste it in here. Now for me, it's easier to just copy it from here. And so stage one, we're gonna delete everything here and paste. And then again, stage two, we're gonna copy everything and paste it over here. There we go. Now we can just copy this command right here, copy it. And let's move to um obs and what i so i have my playstation in here in scene 2 i have it hooked to the computer so i can uh, show you but first things first as i said we're hovering above test connection so just hover above it and once i tell you to click x you will do that and we will do that simultaneously so what i want to do is again just copy the command and go in front of your 
uh, PS4, go into terminal, paste the command, and as soon as you hit enter, it's gonna ask you for a password. So in here, you put your password for your laptop, click enter again for the second time and X at the same time. So now I have this going on, and also on my uh, PS4, I have this going on. So it's gonna be checking, and in here, it's going to be doing some stuff like waiting for interface to be ready and all of that. And uh, heap grooming in here, it should already say successful. There we go. Now, once we have that, we know that we are going OK. Now, let's uh, look at this screen here and see what's happening. So in stage one, we are corrupting objects and this obviously can fail. So as you can see, it failed now. So it's going to retry in five seconds. This is why they say that the uh, C++ one is better because it can auto retry. So it's heap grooming again, stage memory corruption again, trying to do it for a second time, trying to jailbreak the PS4 again. So we're going to wait for this. Uh, actually, it uh, crashed on me for uh, the second time that I did it, but uh, it looks like it's gonna work now, so we'll see. We're all in stage three still, so um, we'll see stage four. And now, if we go into my lab, my PS4, PI pwned, so that worked. And we're also gonna see, there we go, there we go, uh, there we go. We also have gold hen in here so now if i want to go into uh my life is strange for example it's obviously going to work just fine uh, i also have it listening on ftp and i have my pin loader ready however uh, of course you can tweak it the way you want later on now let's exit out of the application and obviously all of these are ripped uh yeah Okay, uh, so this this is it. Uh, just uh, make sure, uh, let's go through how to install packages, which I think that most of you guys already know, but uh, let's just go through that very quickly. So all we have to do is go into Gold Hand, go into Debug Settings, Package Installer, and uh, here we have all of those. So what we can do is uh, click on, uh, let's try Shadow of the Colossus. And then we'll install Tomb Raider. So as you can see, it says added to downloads and it's going to start installing it. This is uh, a 10 gigabyte game, so it might take a few minutes to do that. And also Tomb Raider might take a few minutes, but other than that, it should be fast. So um, I'll let it install and we'll check it out after the installation. So now that... Uh uh, Shadow of the Colossus has been installed. I'm gonna just start the Tomb Raider one So add it to download again, and it will also start to install. So I'll come back when it's uh, finished So now if I go back I should have yeah uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and uh, Shadow of the Colossus and if I start any of them they should work perfectly fine. Yep, and there we go. So uh, this is how you jailbreak your PS4 on uh, Mac OS Silicon. And uh, I hope uh, this video helped you do that. And if it crashes, it's no worries. Just uh, restart your uh, PS4 and try again. Okay, have a great day and uh, I'll see you next time.